What is up guys, Goodzilla here, and in today's episode of My Honest Opinions, I'm going to be discussing the music of the Godzilla series. Enjoy. So I'm just going to start off right now by saying I absolutely adore the music in the Godzilla series, especially if Akube's music. Um, as a musician myself, I have a bit of a musical awareness that some people may not have. I mean, I know you, everyone can like music no matter what, but certain things you learn to appreciate once you can actually play the music, you know? So, yes, I love the Godzilla music. Um, I'm just gonna, like, t briefly talk about each series, maybe some of my favorites in each one. Um, yeah, this is a bit of a different episode, but I think it's interesting, so I'm gonna talk about it. So, in the 1954 film, we had, like, really slow, kind of heavy pieces. There was, of course, the main theme. da 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 You know, that one? And then, um, there was also a very sad one, which was that... Let me... I have all the, like, most of the songs in front of me, because I have them on Google Play. Um... The ending title was great. It's very, like, emotional and sad the way if Ifukube did it. Um, you know, showing all the destruction, it's pretty powerful. Japanese Army March, I really love that one. Um, so, yeah, that's the one where they go... Anyway, so that's that one. I love... I think it's pretty good. Some people say it's one of the best soundtracks of any kaiju movie ever. Mm, it's really good. I'll say that. It's just not my favorite. To me, it's just kind of boring. But it does definitely fit the tone of the film. So it did a perfect job of that. I'm not, like, downgrading it or anything. It's just not very entertaining. Um, Godzilla Raids Again wasn't really anything special. The main title was pretty cool, but... Other than that, there wasn't really anything to praise it for. King Kong vs. Godzilla. The one that comes to mind is the main title with, like, the people on, um, the island, like, worshipping Kong. Or, you know, whatever they were saying. Just that chant they were doing, worshipping Kong. That was great. I love that. Mothra vs. Godzilla. We got our first, like, real look or not our first look, but a more modern, like, Godzilla theme that everyone thinks of. So, Mothra was pretty memorable. Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster is where it starts to get interesting. Because, and this, and like, Invasion of the Astro Monster, that, that, like, defined the Showa series. These few movies were just, like, some of the classics. Like, we had, um, let's see, the main title from Ghidorah, The Three-Headed Monster, it's like, it had like a bassoon, I think, it was going da-da-da-da-da, da-da-da-da-da, and then you hear the main theme from the brass, da 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 and then later in the song you hear the classic, absolutely classic, da 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 Da, da, da. That's absolutely one of my favorites from the entire series. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I can't actually play these for you or else I'd probably get copyright strike. But, um, so then, um, let's see. 
Invasion and the Astro Monster are pretty much the same thing. Son of Godzilla was actually, the music was actually composed by Masaru Sato instead of Akira Ifakube. I think if, if, I think if, if Akube had composed for Son of Godzilla, then it would have been a little too serious. So I think Mas Masaru Sato, um, he composes more light tunes, so it was good that he did Son of Godzilla. I really like most of the themes. Um, Destroy All Monsters, another one of my absolute favorites, like in the title credits. It's in my intro. If Akube did a fantastic job with the title credits, that's like my absolute favorite, I swear to you. Da -da 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 -da. Anyway, um... Let's see, what's next? Godzilla's Revenge, okay. There's one song in particular that sticks out, and I think it's... The the technical title of the song is called Cute Kid Theme. Um, I It's probably referring to Ichiro. It's pretty much what we hear in the movie when he's, you know, living his life. And it's like almost like a, like a baby-ish song. It's like, I don't know. And then it turns into this sort of um, rock tune where he's being chased by people and stuff. It's... Hate the movie, and overall the soundtrack was really weird, but I actually really like that one. Um, like the opening soundtrack was awful. I don't, I don't have it with me, but it's just so weird. <laughs> Godzilla vs. Gigan, I can't really think of anything memorable. But then in Godzilla vs. Megalon, you got the Jet Jaguar theme, or you know the song, Jet Jaga, Jet Jaga. Japanese, 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 Japanese. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know Japanese, I'm sorry. Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, the one, well, the two that stand out are A, Godzilla vs. Anguirus, that's the technical title of the song. It's the one that's going da 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 Anyway, I'm embarrassing myself right now, but... That one is super catchy, probably one of the catchiest, not the best, but one of the catchiest, I love it. And then the other is Mia Robbie's Prayer, that's the one, like, Princess Lady or whatever. I'm not even going to try to sing that, because I really don't feel like humiliating myself in front of 550 people. <laughs> um, yeah, we all know how that goes. Caesar, Caesar, okay, so... Terror of Mechagodzilla also had a really um, great theme. I'm trying to think of what it was. Oh yeah, it was a theme that went da 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 da. You know that one, and it's like really heavy and really neat. Um, I love that theme. So, yeah, that's about it for the show series. Those are the ones I really enjoy. Um, next, on to the Heisei series. Or Heisei, whatever. Um, Return of Godzilla. Uh, this one definitely reflects the 80s. I mean, it has sort of that 80s orchestra kind of sound to it. It's It shows its time, but I, th I think it's good. It's not my favorite, though. I actually, actually like the Japanese Army March from that. Then, um... Return of... Or no, sorry. Godzilla vs. Biollante. The two that stick out to me is the Scramble March. You prob you may not recognize this, but... Uh, it goes something like... Da-da-da-da... 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 Da, 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 da. And then, yeah, so I really love that because it's a really nice, like, orchestral piece. And then, um, Bio Wars is this really cool, like, rock tune. It's almost like funky rock, and it's got this guitar solo. So cool. Um, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. There are a few good ones. One is, like, it's called Get King Ghidorah. I did a cover of it a while ago, actually. Um, goes da 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 anyway um that one's really cool i love that then there's another 
Oh yeah, it's like the G-Force March or something. It's basically a redo of the title credits from Destroy All Monsters, just updated. Godzilla vs. Mothra, nothing actually sticks out to me besides... Well, okay, there's the Mesa March, but there's a different one I like better. And then there's like the main... Er, Mothra's song where they're like fairies are singing, but none of those really stick out. Ooh, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. Okay. I love the main title. Da 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 By the way guys, I'm not really trying to stay on pitch here. I can do this a lot better if I really wanted. I'm just giving you guys the idea. Um so yeah, I love that. It's super like a fat heavy like melody. It's great. Um, that's the one that sticks out. Space Godzilla, I'm not, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really enjoy the Space Godzilla soundtrack. It's kind of bland. Too many strings. But I think it did a good job in the movie, I guess. Godzilla vs. Destroy was a great one. There's the main title, where we get, like, a tuba going, da, 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 da. <clears throat> anyway, that's probably a little low for me, but... It's like that really heavy thing, and Godzilla's destroying Hong Kong, and it's so epic. And then, this one actually has a lot of ones I love. Um, there's Attack of the Super X3. And then, mm, the Mesotank Super Freeze Attack is kind of a long name. But it's it's like a different version of the Mesa March from Godzilla vs. Mothra. I like it better though. It's a really cool one. And then um Requiem. Oh my goodness, Requiem from Godzilla vs. Destroy is such a beautiful piece. Um For those of you who don't know, a Requiem is a piece of music to honor someone's death. So this was a Requiem for Godzilla. And it's oh, it's just so tragic watching Godzilla die in the Requiem playing. Ah, <laughs> and the the other thing is that um, when Akira Ifukube died, Masaru Sado, Masaru Sado, the other composer for the Godzilla series, the main one that is, actually conducted um, that requiem at Akira Ifukube's funeral. At least that's what I've heard. So that's really nice. I think that's neat. I love that one. Ending title is like the one. It's it's sort of like a reflection of the entire music of the Godzilla series. And then there's the Monster Zero March, which is like the Japanese army march. So yeah, that's the Heisei series. Um, really quick, I want to cover Godzilla 1998. Uh, I don't like it. It's basically just a bunch of generic 90s pop songs. Doesn't, you know, make you feel tense or excited. It's just... Whatever. Um, so yeah, that's 1998. And then on to um, the Millennium series. I actually can't remember a lot of the melodies from the Millennium series. I'm sorry. But um, 2000, let me think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I know 2000 was really good. I remember listening to it and it gave me like chills. But... I can't really remember what it sounded like. Megagirus, I can barely remember anything about. GMK is great. Absolutely fantastic. Everyone knows that theme. Um, and then... Godzilla against Mechagodzilla in Tokyo SOS. I know they were also really good. They were both similar. They had like heavy themes, like strong, you know, low brass playing and heavy drum beats. And but again, I I can barely remember what they sounded like. There's like da 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 yeah, something like that. I may have said this already, but I'm not really trying to like hum these completely. 
accurately. I'm just giving you the idea so you know what I'm talking about. Um, Final Wars, I'm going to be honest, I don't really care for that soundtrack. Uh, some of it is actually a little annoying. Like, uh, I can't think of any of it off the top of my head. So, yeah, Millennium Series it wasn't that memorable to me, but it was still good. And then there's um, 2014 I'll talk about. Great, fantastic. It seemed a little generic, but still, it was amazing. Alexander Desplat did a very good job. Um, it definitely like made you feel tense. Everyone knows what that sounds like. So I'm not going to embarrass myself by humming that. So yeah, those are my opinions on the Godzilla soundtracks. So real quick, I'm going to go through each of the series and just recap my thoughts on them. As far as the show series goes, it had really great soundtracks and it set a lot of the classics. Um, the Heisei music, which is my favorite set of music, didn't have as many like classics but it definitely like the military marches were fantastic I never thought that I would love military marches and then if Hakube is like here military marches and I'm like oh cool this is great <laughs> Millennium series they're really good but I can't remember them so they're not that memorable at least to me anyway so if you enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up button and if you didn't enjoy this video please hit the thumbs up button and I'll see you guys on my next video.